receiving so many downloads the last week. Is it me or am I the only one that's been receiving such incredible prophetic downloads in the last week? Dreams every day. Dreams and visions. Literally every day I'm, I'm having a significant vision. And even the last few days, significant dreams from God. But friends, one of your favorite prophetic voices, Dr. Pastor Ben Lim is back. I've missed you, Facebook Live family. I've missed you all. And uh, I cannot wait to share with you what God has shown me and what the Lord has uh, revealed. Because he showed me a war horse being released in this hour. There is a new breed of war horses that's being released. So friends, comment below where you're watching from. Give us some hearts and likes to share this on your wall. Amen. Help us to break the algorithms and uh, help us to break the 400 mark. I believe today we could break at least the 400 mark. Amen. Who is excited for the new year? Glory be to God. Who is excited for the new year 2023? It's going to be incredible. And uh, we are preparing some very special for you. Really, of course, in the Lord. But there is a mega prophetic convergence panel that we are putting together for the month of January to prophesy and to declare into the new he into the new year 2023 it's going to be awesome and very powerful but uh my friends god is so good has the lord been good to you amen god is so good <laughs> and uh this is my little poofy morning hair <laughs> god is so good and um i can't wait to share this word with you my friends so comment below where you are watching from glory be to god let me know where you are watching from. Jabba Karabra, Cape Town, Johannesburg, Jubilee, Amen, Maria, Jack Smith. Good to see my South African friends and family. Yep, just about an hour ago, I got off the phone with one of my favorite friends, prophets from South Africa, Prophet Leon. Hello there, Joe Berg. Hey there, Victor Valdez. Good to see you. Thanks for tagging. Sheldon Lawrence. Hey, you and me, we got to talk. I would love to come next year to Trinidad, Tobago. Nigeria in the house. Tanya from Albuquerque, God bless you. Mary Shalom Palmdale, India. Savannah, Georgia. Oraba Karabrata, Zobo Karabra. Cece, good to see you. Cape Town in the house. Prophet Ivana from downtown LA. Zobo Torabrata. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Wow, the glory of God is so strong. From San Diego, God bless Wyoming, shalom. Well, friends, I do got a word I need to share with you. And you know, we are officially in the new Hebrew month called Tevet. And I'm going to be sharing more about this, uh, the prophetic word of the month for January. That broadcast will be this Friday. Amen. I will be releasing the prophetic word of the month for January. But we are now officially in the Hebrew month of Tevet. And during the month of Kislev and Tevet, which is the month of Hanukkah, it really is a season of illumination and revelation. It really is a time where God shines his light. And there's a new oil, say new oil. And there's a new oil that's released a new oil for the midnight burn, a new oil for the burning bright of the glory of God. And literally the last week, I've been getting downloads of dreams, of visions. I've been having very clear visions, encounters with the Lord. Dreams, it's wonderful. Amen. And uh, it's it's been wonderful because it's been coming while I've been resting in God. Because who here knows when you rest in the Lord, that is the greatest position, the best position for you to receive. I want you to write that down. When I rest, I will best receive. When I rest, I will best receive. That's why the Lord says, 
He makes you lie down in green pastures by streams of living water. Amen. Because then he quiets your soul. He quiets your mind, your heart, your emotions. So when you rest, anxiety, double-mindedness, lies, fears, is now silenced, fire of God. And therefore now you are submitting yourself to receive from the Holy Spirit. I declare over you, things are turning around in your life. I declare over you, things are turning around in your life. Even in the last few days of this year, 2022, get ready to end with double portion. Get ready to end with double glory. Get ready to finish this year with double portions of His grace and of His glory. I feel the Lord. Somebody say hallelujah. Now, in a few minutes, I'm going to release the word that God gave me. I actually had a prophetic vision and encounter this morning that I want to share with you. And honestly, like I said, for literally for the last week, the spirit realm has been so clear and there's been accurate downloads, intrinsic details. There's been visions and dreams that the Lord has been giving me. So praise God for that. Mwah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Yeshua. God is so good because he does not need to share his secrets. He does not need to give his people revelation and rhema and word. So God is so good. So these are really pearls of great prizes. These are pearls that God gives us. Amen. Remember in the days where Samuel was born and he was fathered under the house of Eli, the Bible says the word of the Lord was very rare in those days. The prophetic word was very rare. Who here knows that true prophetic words ministry seems to get rarer and rarer. <clears throat> yes, there is a plethora of emerging prophets and prophetic voices. Yes, there is a cornucopia, a plethora, a great mass and a great number of emerging prophetic people. But a lot of times it seems to lack a depth or an authority or a glory. And I believe that God is raising up a new breed, something like the Kansas City prophets. And that is what my heart and Prophet Leon's heart, that is what our heart is to help raise up a new prophetic convergence where it's pure, it's real, authentic, built off of friendships, kindred spirits. It's not to build platforms. It is truly to be an ecclesia, a school of the prophets, to discern and to be soundboards, hold each other accountable for what the Lord is speaking and doing. I feel the glory of God. And I believe I saw the man of God, God's general, Dr. Robert Lairdon, jump on. We love you, sir. I'm not sure if he's still here, but friends, let's give some hearts and likes for the man of God, Dr. Robert Lairdon, a true, true general of our faith. Amen. So blessed to know you, to meet you, to have you in my life, especially from this year. But I want to go into this word. So I want you to share, my friends. Help me to break the 400 mark today. I believe today we can break the 400 mark. It's been a while since I've done a Facebook Live broadcast like this. So I'm very happy to see you. I've missed you. I love you. And praise God for all that he's doing and for this end of the year season. And I'm telling you, we are going to end this year higher than ever in the glory of God. You will end this year with plunder. Amen. I feel the Lord. You will end this year, not empty handed, but you, your hands will be full and overflowing in Jesus name. So I'm going to begin to share this word, this encounter that I had this morning. I had this encounter 
where the Lord showed me a new prophetic war horse. I believe there is a new war horse that's rising, a new breed of horses that's rising. And remember, in prophetic terms or in biblical symbology, animals are a symbol or it is a sign. Yes, it could be literal or it could be metaphoric. I believe it's both in this case, but more so prophetically, symbolic, or metaphoric. Amen. But this morning, I had a vision of a new breed of prophetic war horses arising. There is a release of a new war horse. I want to say war horse. There is a release of the war horse. And in a few minutes, we're going to go into some scriptures. But why is this important? Because many of you have felt chained down. You have been biting down on Brit and you've been held back by brittle or by a bridle. You have felt controlled. You have felt like you have been caged in. You want to run. You want to go. You want to be free. You want to gallop. You want to run and gallop towards your destiny but you felt like you were held back by bit and brittle. But in this year and in this season, there is a release and a liberation for you to run forward in your destiny. Come on, somebody. For you to run forward, for you to gallop into your destiny, for you to break down every single wall and barrier, for you to break through every single hindering spirit. I believe this year and this season, the Lord is releasing a spirit of might so that you will run forward like a war horse. Somebody say amen. God is raising and releasing a new breed of war horses for you to run forward into your destiny and for you to gallop into a new realm and glory of God. If you're with me today, say amen. Give me some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. Help us to break the 400 mark today because I'm about to preach and prophesy in Jesus' name. And if you did not know, it's Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, one of your favorite prophetic voices. And this morning, I had a very vivid, strong encounter vision from the Lord. And the Lord showed me a new war horse is rising. Somebody say amen. Now let's go into some scripture here. Praise God. Let's go into some scripture. I love this passage, Proverbs 21, verse 31. Proverbs 21, 31. The horse is made ready for the day of battle, but the victory belongs to the Lord. I'm going to read that again. The horse is made ready for the battle, but the victory belongs to the Lord. The horse is made ready. I want you to say this. I am getting the horses ready. Just like a car. And I don't know how it is with these EV, these electric vehicles, all right, uh, which I'm very, very against personally because it's all part of the one world order and the globalist uh, agenda of control and tyranny. However, for an auto vehicle, for your car, there's something called horsepower, HP, horsepower. How many horses of power Literally, if you have 300 horsepower in your Ford Mustang or in your Dodge Charger, in your BMW, in your car, in your vehicle, that literally stands for 300 horses running at speed. I feel the Lord. So imagine your vehicle having 300 horsepower, 300 horses of power. Here the Bible says, Proverbs 21, 31, the horse is made ready for the battle. Have you gotten your horses ready? There's a common saying. We say, hold your horses. But have you gotten your horses ready? So, which means there's a readiness, a preparation. There is an intentional getting together of the strength, the mustering of your power, of your resources. You're getting the horse ready for battle. Someone say, amen. Amen. But you see, the Bible says the victory belongs to the Lord. The horse is made ready for the day of battle.
but the victory belongs to the Lord. What does that mean? That means you get yourself ready. Get your house ready. Get your house in order. Prepare the way. Prepare the wells. Prepare. Get ready. Get ready. Be ready in and out of season. So get ready. However, the end result of the victory of God is in his hands. You do your best and God will do the rest. Someone say amen. Proverbs 21, 31, the horse is made ready for the day of battle, but the victory belongs to the Lord. Now I want to read another passage, Psalm 18, verse 29. With your help, I can advance against the troop. With my God, I can scale a wall. Psalm 18, 29. With your help, I can advance against the troop. Other translations say, advance against an army. Imagine a brigade of army men, footmen, soldiers of a troop, and you advance against them. And with my God, I can scale, climb, go up a wall. With God's help, so I believe this is a season where God is releasing supernatural strength for you to run. Whatever has hindered you will be broken off. It's falling off. And there is a release of a new breed of war horses. Why is this important? Because we understand in this year of three, five, seven, 83 and 2023, we understand that three in Hebrew means Gemel. And Gemel is shaped like, the alphabet letter Gemel is shaped like a man that's running, a foot. So this is a year and a season where God is causing you to run. You're gonna run towards your destiny. And hear me now, you're even going to run over your enemies. You will trample on, you will stomp on top of and over your enemies. So this is a year and a season as God is releasing a new breed of war horses. You will be unstoppable. You will not be held back. The spirit of control, witchcraft, and manipulation will be broken off. And the spirit of the Lord will cause you to run, will cause you to advance, to scale, to increase, to climb, to leap over, to hop over. Oh, I feel the Lord right now. So I believe the Lord is releasing new technology, new wineskins, new alignments, new friendships. He is releasing New, someone say new, so that you can run like the war horse. Now, we understand in the book of Revelation, thanks for all the hearts and likes, friends. Just pray with me in the Holy Ghost right now. I feel a prayer break right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It's, come, it's time to break out of the cage. It's time to break free from the manipulation. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. So I want you to go here, Revelation 6, all right, verses 1 to 8. And I'm not going to read all eight verses, but Revelation chapter 6, verse 1. Now I watched when the Lamb opened one of the seven seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures say with a voice like thunder, Come! And I looked, and behold, a white horse. And its rider had a bow, and a crown was given to him. And it came out conquering 
and to conquer. I want you to say conquer. Now here in this end time prophetic revelation, the Lord shows Apostle John four horses, four types of horses, and each horse is a different color. Now, this is about eschatology, but for today's purposes, what I'm sharing with you, it's not about the end times. I'm not talking about the end times, okay? But we understand in the book of Revelation, uh, it is concerning an end times eschatology period. But we are going to learn from that symbol and from that sign and pull out principles of what God is speaking today. If you're with me, say amen. So this, there were four horses and each horse was a different color. Now we understand colors have prophetic meaning. Colors all stand for something. But this white horse was released and this white horse was conquering. So I want you to catch this. Whenever a seal was broken, because a seal to the scroll, whenever a seal was broken, a horse was released. And it wasn't necessarily a literal horse, but it was a realm that was opened up. And it was a realm of conquering. And the white horse, as that seal was broken, that white horse stood for conquering dominion the second horse the second horse was bright red here in verse 4 and its rider was permitted to take peace from the earth so that the people would slay one another and he was given a great sword so now we see the second horse in the book of revelation chapter 6 we see the second horse is bright red and the assignment or the grace that was on this bright red horse, it was permitted to take peace from the earth and to slay one another and it was given a great sword. So I believe that some of these seals have already been opened and there's already been a release of horses. For the horses also stand for judgment. And it also stands for a release of God's justice. But this morning, I had a vision of a dark war horse. Amen. A dark war horse. And I want you to catch this. Here, the third seal was broken and the third horse was a black horse. Verse 5. And its rider had a pair of scales in his hand. And I heard what seemed to be a voice in the midst of the four living creatures saying, a quart of wheat for a denarius and three quarts of barley for a denarius and do not harm the oil and the wine. Do not harm the oil and the wine. So it seems that the third horse, which is a black horse, is something over harvest and finance. It's something about the money system, the banking system. Now, this morning, I had an encounter where I saw a dark war horse coming forth. I'm not saying this vision I had of a dark war horse, I'm not saying it is the third horse here in Revelation chapter 6, verse 6. But I think it's interesting that we are in a time of great financial calamity and depravity. There are seals that have been broken. And remember, horses stand for a realm. And there is a realm that has been opened on the earth of judgment and justice. Of judgment and justice. So this morning, the Lord showed me a dark war horse arising. And I believe this war horse, it stands for prophetically for you to run towards your destiny, number one. There's going to be a running towards your destiny. 
Number two, there's going to be a war for your future. God is releasing a warrior spirit. No more mansy pansies. No more wussies and sussies. He is releasing a warrior spirit so that you will war for your future and destiny, for your nation, your family, for your region. Amen. So number one, this dark war horse that the Lord showed me this morning. Number one stands for you running towards your destiny. You will not be controlled, held back by religion, by bit and brittle. You will not be under the spirit of manipulation and witchcraft any longer. You will run freely, valiantly, rampantly in the glory of God, in the strength and might of Jesus. Number two, it stands for the warrior spirit. You are about to take back and you are about to get back all that was taken and stolen. There is a warrior spirit arising. Amen. Number three, I believe the third thing to stand for, it is freedom and liberation. There is a spirit of liberty and jubilee God's releasing over his people. It's time for you to freely run. It's time for you to be all that God has called you to be. This season, this year, God is releasing a new breed of prophetic war horses. Hallelujah. 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 Freedom, liberation, freedom in your mind, in your heart, in your finances. The fourth thing I believe this dark war horse stand for that I had a vision and an encounter this morning. I believe it stands for the underdog that's arising. There is a new breed rising. There is a new breed rising and you are going to rise up. You are about to come up. You are about to get up. You are about to leap up and over. So this is a season. Number four, the dark war horse stands for a leaping up and over. There's a new breed rising, a new glory rising. And the spirit of the Lord, he's actually the rider on the horse. Jesus is the rider on the horse. So there's something new that's emerging, that is resurrecting, that is coming forth. Like the sun rises every morning with healing in its wings, with new mercies every day. There is a new rising, a new breed, a new company is arising. And number five, just like we see, isn't this interesting? Just like we see in the book of Revelation, the third horse, which was painted or had the color black, it was a black horse. It stands for finances, the financial systems of the day. So I believe the fifth thing, it really stands for the economy of heaven. The economy of heaven. So I believe this war horse that God's releasing, this new breed of war horses. It stands for people moving in the economy of God. You are unstoppable. There is a taking back and a recompense and a plundering of the enemy. Someone say amen. Now somebody keeps commenting, maybe the fourth seal has already been opened. Because here in Revelation chapter six, verse seven and eight, it says the fourth seal was broken and the fourth horse was a pale horse. Its rider's name was death and Hades followed him. And they were given authority over the fourth of the earth to kill with sword and with famine and with pestilence and by wild beasts of the earth. 
Now you can say death in Hades, a pale white, pale horse, a fourth of the earth. Sounds like population control, doesn't it? A fourth of the earth. Good to see a prophet Daniel. To kill with sword. What does that mean? War, genocide, even vax, jabs. Kill with sword, with famine. Many countries are in a famine right now. Even the United States, what the globalists are doing, destroying, burning farms, paying and bribing off farmers. This is all a part of that one world order of the end times. The economy of the Antichrist system and spirit with famine and with pestilence. What is that pestilence? It is like, it's not necessarily even locusts or bugs, but the pestilence, it is a swarm of something spiritual, like a spiritual plague and a wild beast of the earth. Wild beasts of the earth. Now that may stand for sharks or bears or jackals, hyenas, lions attacking, but I think it might even stand for something else. My friends, do you believe those seals are broken? And do you believe, do you think, let me ask you, and you can comment below, do you think those horses have been released in our day today? In our day today? Do you believe so? Do you think so? And you can comment below. And again, my point today is not to share about end times revelation, even though we did touch on that and we are discussing and dialoguing about that. But the point today is to declare that there is a new war horse rising. A new prophetic war horse is rising and emerging. A new company of valiant warriors, juggernauts, dread champions, a new company of people who will run and outrun their enemies, advance against a troop and scale a wall. Whatever chained you, whatever shackled you, whatever held you back is now broken and get ready to run forward in your destiny. You have gone through so much in the last few years, even in the last few months, you've gone through so much, but this season, the Lord is releasing a grace for you to run, for you to outrun, for you to leap up and over, for you to break through into the enemy's camp. It is a season for you to be that war horse, to be that war horse. And this morning, I had a vision of a dark war horse arising. Good to see you, John. My Mongolian spiritual son, thank you for being a subscriber. This morning I had a vision of a dark war horse arising. Enough is enough. It's time to go. It's time to be. It's time to take new lands and territories, to break through into new realms. Hallelujah. I wanna pray for you right now. Lift up your hands, church. Lord, I thank you for the glory of God. The glory is a difference. The glory is a difference maker. His presence, his oil, his fragrance. It is a difference. And Lord, I thank you for the charging of the war horses. And hear me now. I see in the spirit a war and a battle that is coming. But I see a group of intercessors, men and women of God, mothers and fathers, 
You may be a stay-at-home mother. <coughs> you may be a businessman, stay-at-home father. But I see men and women of God lining up, ready for battle. The horse is made ready for battle, but the victory belongs to the Lord. Make ready your horses. Get your horses ready. Get your house ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Shabara karabrota tamata. Raba karabrota terebosa tamata karabrota tarabrata. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. Give us some hearts and lights right now. Pray in the Holy Ghost right now. For there is a release coming. Jarabala bota terebrata. I just saw angels that look like horses being released. You know, I want to talk to you. It's interesting because a lot of us think that angels look like humans. There are angels that are in the form of more human-like. But there are many other types of angels that are not shaped in the form of a human body. There are many angels or even fallen angels, spirit beings, that are shaped like different creatures. Look at that, the four living creatures, these beasts, unusual beasts that are outside of our earthy, earthly realm, finite thinking. But I saw angels being released and they looked like horses. Glory be to God. There is a release of the chariots of God. Rabato Sakarabrata. Jaba Korabrota. Thank you, Lord. Rabba Karabrota. I prophesy now. The Lord is releasing a new breed of war horses. The Lord is releasing a new breed of war horses. There is a release of the war horse, and it was a dark war horse, which also stands for the economy. Jesus, Jesus. I want somebody to comment the five things that I shared about this dark war horse, so I can pin it here, please. For all of those that are new and jumping on now, Someone say hallelujah. Shaka raba terebrata tarabrata. Somebody say hallelujah. There's a new grace and a new glory coming. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Sharababarata. Thank you, Lord. There is a release of war horses. And this morning I had a vision of a dark war horse arising. And his war horse stands for these five things that I pinned in the chat group. You will run towards your destiny. Number two, you will war for your future. Number three, there's freedom and liberation. Number four, the underdog is arising from the ashes of the earth. And number five stands for the economy of heaven. Someone say amen. Give me some hearts and likes, my friends. Lift up your hands. Jesus, I just saw in the spirit a dark horse of witchcraft. And the Lord says, these war horses of the Lord will battle and win the war against the other dark 
horses of witchcraft. It is a counterfeit. Remember, horses literally stand for messengers or transportation. It's like cars, chariots. Rabba Baba, every envoy of the enemy will be sent back and destroyed. Whatever has been deployed against you will be burned down by fire now. Whatever messenger of Satan has been sent to spy on you, to monitor you, to restrict you, to arrest you, is being exposed and destroyed now. Jesus. Jesus. Someone say hallelujah. This morning, I had a very vivid encounter and vision. And there is a new breed of dark war horses arising. If you believe that as you say amen, if you receive this word, I want you to say hallelujah. Now, I want to pray over a few people. Amen. I want to pray over a few people. But if you enjoy this word today, say amen and give us some hearts and likes. And like I said, literally this whole week, I've been getting such crystal clear downloads of visions and dreams from the Lord. This week has been wonderful, beautiful. Amen. And like I said in the beginning, you best receive when you rest. When you rest, you will best receive. So I want to pray for a few people because it's your season to run. It's your season to be activated. It is your year for you to war and to battle, to take back the economy of heaven. Kaylee Rose from Canada. Kaylee Rose from Canada. I saw, uh, yeah, I saw, good to see you, Cheryl. I saw Kaylee, I actually saw a rose, and your last name is Rose, I saw a flower, actually. And I saw a flower blooming and blossoming. And I heard for you, Kaylee Rose, I heard and I saw, the Lord is saying, I am opening up a rose to bud and bloom in the, middle of snow though you may be surrounded by snow which stands for the covering of God's holiness though you may be covered by snow and you may be covered by the winter even in midst of the winter season you will bud blossom and bloom for the Lord says joy is blooming joy is blossoming everyone say joy joy is budding and you shall be like the Rose of Sharon, standing out in the crowd and in the midst of them all. There shall be a distinct anointing over your life. Harabosata. You shall stand out even in your workplace. You shall stand out even in your family. For there is a distinction coming to you, Kaylee Rose. In Jesus' name, even as you're covered by winter snow, you shall stand forth. Hallelujah. If you want me to pray for you, say pray for me. I want to pray for a few more people in this place. Tyler McDonald says, you were the first to prophesy over me, Dr. Ben. I know my calling. I've been waiting on the Lord. It's been hard this whole year. I've been persecuted. God bless you. You keep on, Tyler. 
Rabatera Bosa Tarabrata. Good to see you, Zareen from Malaysia. Sharababa Brata. Vanessa Maestri. Vanessa Maestri. I saw something over your head and I heard the Lord say, I'm going to open the heavens over your life. I saw over you, Maestri, I forgot your name, Vanessa Maestri. I saw like a dark cloud, a spiritual dark cloud hovering over you, but God says he's breaking it. And now beams of light and glory light will shine over you. It's called an open heavens. God is changing your appetite, Vanessa. God is changing your frequency. Even what you smell is about to change. I don't know, Vanessa, if you've had difficulty smelling, but I saw even your smell changing, your taste changing, your appetite changing. The Spirit of the Lord is changing your appetite, your senses. Harabobosa, in Jesus' name. And get ready for open heavens. Get ready for the glory of God. For you will no longer be tormented in the night. Vanessa Maestri. You will no longer be tormented. But you will now move forth in peace. For you have been tormented on the inside about a certain issue. Filled with shame because of this lie, this old issue, this old thing. But the Lord says you are now released from it, Vanessa, and move forth and forward in freedom in Jesus' name. If you receive it and believe it, say amen. If that makes sense to you, say amen. If you want me to pray for you, come and pray for me, I see. The requests are coming in. This man here, Arvin J. Castellon. I'm not sure if you're a Filipino. Arvin J. Castellon. Glory be to God. Arvin, I see a promotion coming to you. The Lord loves that you are a noble man. You are a family man. You have been tested with integrity. You have been tested to do things for more money, for more position. But you have passed the test for it's the little things that matter. It is the little things that are important. And you have always tried to do your best, even in the little, says God. But I believe you have passed the test, Brother Arvin. And therefore, the Lord is going to promote you. And hear me now. It is not the doing of man. Because there's times where people will try to promote you or bless you. But it is a spirit of bribery. And it is attached to a spirit of manipulation. But the Lord wants you to know promotion comes from Him and Him alone so that nobody else can take credit for what takes place in your life. God is about to raise you up, Arvin, to be like gold apples in settings of silver. For you are a noble man of character and you do your best to do everything with excellency and out of a pure heart and spirit. So the Lord will reward you and this year, get ready for promotion. Somebody say amen. If you're enjoying this, say amen and give us some heart to likes. I want to pray for a few more people. It's because I've missed you. I love you all. I've missed you. And remember, even if your name is not called out, you can celebrate the word that's being released over others. And if you have faith, then you can also receive that and make it yours. Somebody say it's mine. 
Somebody say it's mine. This gentleman, Des Mashiel, from Joburg, South Africa, Des Mashiel. I saw a seven year period over your life. And the seven year period has been filled with many joys and many difficulties, some losses and some joys. It's like I almost saw you rejoicing for new life. I'm not sure if you're a grandfather and you have babies, but I saw there are moments in the last seven years of great joy and rejoicing because of new life and new opportunity. But there are also losses where certain things did not go the way you thought it would. Disappointments where certain things did not continue the way that it was expected. But I saw over you, man of God, that the Lord was going to restore honor to you and even in your family. The Lord is going to restore honor. Someone say restore. He's going to restore honor to you and your family. Even within your family, He's going to restore you and the honor and the dignity of who you are. For there has been a battle and a shaking, even some spirits of division that have tried to divide and destroy your family. Even in the last seven years, I even see some battles over housing and lands and finances, even within the family. But the Lord is going to settle it. Hear me now. He is about to settle the case. He is about to settle the issue. Shut up, Baba. -ba. He's about to settle the case and the issue. And I'm reminded of the story of Abraham and Lot. Abraham allowed his nephew, Lot, to have the first choice. And Lot chose the land that looked greener and more bright and beautiful. But Lot chose the land that was right next to Sodom and Gomorrah. And eventually that land deterred, was destroyed and devoured. And Abraham's land prospered and multiplied and grew in the glory of God. The Lord says, because you were like Abraham, you shall experience a great glory and a great harvest. If you receive that and believe that, say amen. And let me know if that makes sense. I forgot your name already, but let me know if that makes sense. I want to pray over two more people. Glory be to God. Help me to break the 300 mark today. Amen. And it's good to see all of you. I've missed you. Some of you, it's your first time jumping on this broadcast or on my page. God bless you. Jaba Karabra, Zebarabo Sata. Thank you, Lord. You know what? I'll pray for you, Mary Elizabeth, and I hope to see you this week. Mary Elizabeth. Ha ha ha. The Lord says your address is changing. Your view is changing. Your office is changing. As you're seated in your desk, in your seat, looking out of the window, it's changing. Thank you, Des Michelle. God bless you. It's changing, Elizabeth, Mary Elizabeth. And your address is changing. So the Lord says, I will address the issues. And God also says, he will dress you. Get ready for a new dress and he will dress you. So this is a season where he's going to doll you up. He's going to dress you up. He's going to take you shopping. 
a new wardrobe, a new robe, a new mantle, new everything. And he will dress you and your address is changing. Your view is changing. Your location is changing. It's like when you looked out of the window, all you saw was dead grass, brown, yellow, dead grass. But now as you look out the window, you will see bright green grass. Your view is changing. Ha, huh. it's changing. Rabba Karabra. So get ready for turnaround. I saw the Lord turning you around three times. Get ready for a threefold turnaround. Melissa says, I'm going shopping. Amen. Listen, that's a word for some of you. Y'all need to go shopping. Y'all need to get some new dids. But the Lord will address the issues himself, Mary. The Lord will address it himself. And he's changing your address. He's changing your view. And he's going to dress you up. And he's turning things around. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Mary says, I'm supposed to move in April. Amen. Release the war horses, Lord. The dark war horses. I want to pray for one more person here. Arabosha Karabrata. Glory be to God. I want to pray for one more person here. Thank you, Lord. Look at that. We're about to break the 300 mark in Jesus' name. Took a little while, but it's all right. We're back on Facebook, y'all. I am back on Facebook. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Shakarabatarabata toro brotata. Thank you, Lord, for breaking 300 today. Though it was delayed, it shall be done. Hello the Vicky, God bless you. All right, Vicky, I'll pray for you. Vicky, the Lord says, Vicky Domingo, you're in the UAE. Listen, I'm praying a lot about the UAE. I'm believing one day I'll even have a citizenship to the UAE and that's for another day, for another time. But Vicky Domingo, I saw you go into a higher rise building. The Lord says, it does not matter what it looks like right now, but you are going up to a higher rise building. For this will be the year of your arrival. And this will be the year of your rise. And I saw the hand of God raising you and lifting you up. He's gonna lift you up in front of your enemies. Those who did not believe in you, even your coworkers around you, they were jealous of you, slandered you. But God is going to lift you up even in front of them in their midst. Get ready for a raise. Get ready for a raise. And get ready for a promotion. In the face of your enemies, 
In fact, Vicky, I remember I was talking to one of my neighbors and he just got a new job at this hotel. And they said they created a new job just for him. So I believe there are, they are going to create a new position just for you. Just for you. It's going to be just for you. Just for you. Not for anybody else. Just for you. Just for you. It's yours, says God. It's yours. It is yours. Not anybody else's. It's yours. And whatever and whoever tried to get you out of your divine destiny and your portion of inheritance, they will be dealt with by the Lord God himself. But it is yours, Vicky. It is yours. They're going to create a position just for you. It will be a first time in history. It will be a history making moment, a history breaking moment in Jesus name. Whatever tried to cover you and to shade you, God will remove and cause you to shine in Jesus name. If you receive, someone say amen. Now, friends, I'm so glad you joined us today, amen. Thank you for jumping on, joining on. I'm excited for the new year. It is going to be very, very, very powerful, this new year. It truly is the year of the comeback. But friends, I do have a New Year's Eve conference we're hosting here. Our New Year's Eve revival with Papa Gio, Mama Coco, the Apostles of Joy, and myself, and Keith Duncan on worship. Three days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we're gonna end this year with a big bang in the glory of God. So if you're a local in the area, fly in, drive in, be a part of this move. If you want to join online, then you do have to register. We hope to see you. I know many are joining from today's broadcast from around the world. But we hope to see you, especially if you're local. Fly in, drive in, do whatever you need to do to get in the glory, amen? Now, can somebody get the link and paste it so that I can pin it here? Shara Baba Barata. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Prophet Solana. Like I said, if you're in the local California area, surrounding states, consider driving in, flying in, being with us as we end this year in a powerful way and manner. Or if you want to join us online, you do have to register. Amen. You do have to register. So I encourage you, jump into glory. End this year with myself, Georgian Banov, Winnie Banov, the Apostles of Joy. Let's end this year great. Yes, on Eventbrite. We have pinned the link to the top so you can click the link or even just Google New Year's Eve Revival or go to our website. It's going to be powerful. Amen. Well, friends, remember, Friday, I am going to release the prophetic word of the month for, this, for January. Prophetic word for January. And I can't wait to see you all soon. Next Monday, we do have a free Zoom webinar. Next Monday, a free, free Zoom webinar on consecration breakthrough or we're gonna talk about fasting, 
consecration, the power of being set apart for your Lord and your Savior. Let's start this year off strong and right in the glory of God. Amen. So tomorrow night, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, our New Year's Eve revival. Join us, jump on online or see us in person. God bless you. I'll see you soon. Shalom. Please share this on your wall if you're blessed by this word and broadcast today. Consider giving this page a like, a follow, and consider being a subscriber to this page as well. All of your love and support goes a long way. And I declare this year, there's a new breed of war horses that are rising and are being released towards their destiny. And that's you. Amen. God bless you, friends. Happy New Year. I'll see you very soon.